One of them boys and girls. Chad on their farms. And my marshmallows. Whew. Let's see, where did we leave off yesterday? <laughs> I think Grandpa's trying to feed some deer or what? So yesterday, we caught... No way. Okay. Whew. Yesterday, we caught a Ricky over here. He's already taken care of, already dispatched. But we need to rebait and reset this trap. Man, they, when they, uh, when they hit these traps, man, they really hit them. What I mean by that is they just, they get stuck and, uh, they just flip out. Hang on. Let me rebate this. Somebody asked me the other day if we're going to continue trapping. And when you guys ask those questions, I think it's awesome. I don't just assume, you know, I've only been doing this. I've only been doing this YouTube thing for 11 months if you're new here. And I've only been trapping since about May. Because we used to live in the city with eight chickens. And there was no, there was no predators at all. None whatsoever. When you say, are we going to continue trapping? Yes. Because what I've learned is if you stop, you will lose chickens. We constantly keep our traps baited just for that one Ricky or Rona that might make its way through and try and get to our chickens. Chickens, ducks, and turkeys. Man, it's, uh, I'm breathing heavy. <laughs> it's 26 degrees. It's chilly. The air is very heavy. Just scared something off. And by the way, I was super nervous about posting another video per week because YouTube likes consistent. Consistency and rhythm, like the algorithm likes rhythm. And uh, I was super nervous about posting another video because the channel's been doing so well. I was like, man, if I throw another video in there, it's going to skew the results and the algorithm's going to have to relearn what we're doing. And I was like, man, but I asked you guys in that live, just hold these marshmallows still so you can hear me. I asked you guys in that live if y'all would want to see another one. And then I asked you in a video the day after. You were like, yes, absolutely. We would love another video. And guess what? Y'all did. Because that video took off. It hit 2,000 views in under... I think it was under three hours. I've never done that before. So, that's amazing. What do you think? What do you think? Huh? What do you think? If I'm not finding critters, that must mean you're fighting them off. Huh? Let me feed everybody. Walk with me. What's up, buddy? Lola. Lola. What do you think? What do you think? How's your house? Holding up okay? Oh, you guys know what? I forgot something. Here, let's... Let's go ahead and feed them, because that'd be wrong. What's up? What you think, buddy? What you think? What you think, man?
What's up, boys? What you think, man? What you think? <laughs> the farm is so noisy until everybody gets food. So, oh man, how'd you get a cow pie on the other side of the fence? Jeez. Oh, because they got out. That's why. I was like, how in the world did you do that? That's all right. What'd you do, man? You can't get to your food when you block it like that. Look here. See? There you go. There you go. That's good, buddy. Ladies. How we doing? One of y'all. I don't want to say your name in case. I know who you are, but... I don't want to say your name in case you don't want anybody to know. But one of y'all is sending us something called a mud shovel, which I've, which I've never heard of, but it's a shovel, almost like a paddle, and it's used for breaking up ice in the winter, so, so I don't have to kick the buckets. Come here. Come here. The people want to see your face. The people want to see your face. Yeah. Yeah. No, we can't bite the beard or the ears. Nope. Such a happy dog. Such a happy dog. And by the way, somebody asked us if they could send Smokey some treats. And absolutely, I appreciate you asking. Because you never know. Um, like, you never know how a farmer is going to feel about what his dog eats. But if there was something I didn't see that was, you know, I didn't want her to have, but you feed your dog, that's absolutely okay. Because we both might have differing opinions. And But absolutely, if you want to send her something, we have a P.O. box. Just put uh, Adler Farms and you can put care of Smokey if you want. I mean, I'm, I can read. I'm, I won't eat dog treats. Yeah, I think it'd be pretty funny. Oh, if you send something that Smokey won't eat, my dog Cabela, our dog at home, She'll eat anything. I mean, anything. But why, 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 why? Here, look. You're down. You're down. You're down. So back on that note of being a YouTuber that films more, <clears throat> or posts more, I gotta find things to film, <laughs> which isn't too big of a deal. And actually, there's a lot of things I do off camera that you guys don't see, like expanding this dog pen, but dog pen, chicken run. The reason we didn't show that, making sure all our zip ties are in place. The reason we didn't show that is because all I'm going to do is point a, whoo, marked your territory there. Goodness. That sucker's staining. The reason we didn't show expanding the pen I got it, I got it, I'm coming, hang on. Is what we would have done is just set a camera up in the corner and then pointed it at what we were doing. And then I would have fast forwarded it. And it might've been like an hour long clip. It might've been an hour long clip that I turned into one minute. Hey, not there, here. Two buddies hanging out, waiting on your egg. I'm missing a chicken.
We are missing a chicken. There's one place she could be though. I wonder if she's trying to lay an egg already. There she is. All right, I'll wait. No egg for you. Cause that's the egg you usually get. But since you terrorize her, you're gonna have to wait. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to wait. You're gonna have to wait, I oh, know. Here, flush your bottles up. So here's one. Yeah, look out, look out. I know you're thinking, what the heck? That's my water. All right, task at hand. I was telling you guys, I was telling you guys, I just gotta find stuff to film, but that's okay. But what I'm doing now is, Grandpa had an idea, because our, I'll be right back, hang on. We, we're really gonna have problems keeping water from freezing, or I should say the hose line at least. So what we had an idea to do, plastic, of course, when it's frozen, it breaks, it cracks. So we've got these rubber tubs that you see on every farming channel. We got these rubber tubs you see on every farming channel, but some of them hold like three and a half, four gallons. And of course, if you fill that up and a dog doesn't drink it or a duck or a chicken or whatever, you know, they're not gonna drink four gallons. They're not, they're not a cow. They're not gonna drink four gallons of water. So you come out here the next day and you turn it over and you bust it. You just wasted water. What we're gonna do, let me show you, is use these smaller buckets. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, we're still gonna use that. So these are, oh, it's Miller Manufacturing. I get them at Atwoods. Really doesn't tell you how much they hold. I bet you it's half a gallon. But we're gonna use these for the dog's water because two or three of these, and she'll have plenty of water plus her plastic plus her plastic buckets. And that way we don't go over there every day and basically throw away four gallons of water. Cause she just doesn't drink that much. So, and I know you're gonna say, well, wait, 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 dogs can drink up to four gallons. Okay, listen, if I go over there and all the water's gone, I assure you, I will put 10 gallons out there, 12 gallons, 20 gallons, okay? What I know right now is we have two four gallon tubs and she's not drinking half of either one of them. So right now, this is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna put these in there and swap them for the big ones and I'll show you who's getting the big tubs because some of y'all like this you ask a lot of questions about it and why I do it and I get it you got questions it's okay you're silly you're silly she's like what the heck is that so you can see how much bigger you can see how much bigger these are. And that's not a chew toy, Nancy. Not a chew toy. Nope, here you go, some ice. But these bigger bowls, Miss Lola. I can't reach that. Here's 
Your lucky day, Bubba. Well, not your luck. Not your lucky day. Not that lucky day. But the reason we do that, if you look, I normally feed them on the ground, and I'm not shy about it. But when it freezes out here, pigs need and want dirt, the nutrients, the minerals, and all that from dirt. But if they've been in one spot for a while and they're not feeder pigs, which you would harvest, so they wouldn't be in a spot a super long time. Eventually when the ground freezes, they're not even getting a whole lot of the nutrients and they're trying to eat around their poop and such. So, and then the reason I feed the beefy boys in here is because they also have a smaller pasture. And I can see how much they're eating because cows will actually, they eat until they're full. They don't just eat and eat and eat. Where if I threw food in Lola and Haas's pen, like unlimited, like they had a automatic feeder. I believe they'd eat like me on Thanksgiving. Eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. Now we have better ways to measure how much they eat as well. Smokey thinks those little bulls are toys. What do you think, dude? What do you think, dude? Huh? What do you think? All right. All right, come here. I gotta go, come here. No, don't look at the gate and look at me. You know what I'm doing. I'll be right back, okay? I'll be right back. So now comes the fun part. I didn't record this yesterday because I already have a 30, 35 minute video. And based on YouTube analytics, that's about as much time as you guys have to watch. Oh, Canadian chickens. I set up our game camera down here and baited it with a Ricky so we can see what eats down here. Doesn't look too disturbed. Now let's get this camera. Man, I've got to, you guys let me know down in the comments. I mean, literally, if you want, go to Amazon or your favorite store, Tractor Supply, Atwoods, whatever. Take a picture. Well, I guess you can't take a picture unless you have me on, if you have me on social media, but send me a picture of gloves that you use that are warm I'd love for them to be waterproof. They have a magnetic finger so you can operate your phone, your camera. Because I've got a touchscreen camera and a touchscreen phone. I film from both. It's a constant struggle when I'm out here filming but to adjust the buttons. Come on, camera. It's right there. It's, my fingers are numb. Oh, there they are. So pretty. I can get you guys a shot. The other day, Case goes, hey, Dad, you know how when your geese fly overhead and one side's longer than the other? You know why that is? No. There's more geese on that side. Yeah. That guy. Again, gloves. Send me a picture on social media. Uh, a link to Amazon. You can't put links in the comments because Amazon blocks those because it looks like you're trying to spam the YouTuber. So if you guys ever comment and you put a link in there and then you don't see your comment, that's what happened. So I didn't know that until I started making YouTube videos. Let's go see what's on this camera. I bet it's something pretty good. As soon as I step inside the house, I can hear my dad watching this later going, taking boots off. Take, take them off. Take off the boots. You're welcome. You get these little SD card adapters for dad's computer.
Whoa. Whoa. It's still sliding. It'll stop in a minute. Nothing, nothing. Heck, is that me? Oh, it's me. <laughs> I was like, who is that guy? If you guys ever get a game camera and you set it up, I have mine record at the highest definition possible and I have it record for 30 seconds at a time. So like sometimes the owl footage that you guys see me share, when, when I come up with a clip and it looks like that owl just landed, if you go back and watch the clip before it, even though it's 30 seconds long and there may not be anything for 29 seconds, you'll see that owl drop in and that's what's really cool. So that's why I have it record such a long time frame. Something was there, because the camera doesn't just go off, especially at night, and then nothing. So we're gonna go put this card back in the camera, and then, because you guys didn't see it, um, I've gotta go get something to help with the water situation on the farm, because it's frozen right now, but mom and dad have a frost-free spigot out back. So I need to go get something to help water everybody when it's this cold because it's still 28 degrees and it's 8.30 in the morning. So I'm going to run some errands. I'm going to put this card back. I'm going to run some errands and then I'll check back with you guys. Sound good? In a couple hours and it's still 32 degrees so I think this hose is still frozen but I'm gonna run down here and check it just to see because we've got to figure something out with the water situation situation so I was watching Morgan up at uh, Goldshaw farm yesterday and he put out a real good video about taking care of ducks in the winter and I liked what he said he said speaking of ducks he's up in like I think northern Vermont hi sugar <laughs> gotta get some lovings we smell we smell is that good <laughs> smells those Iowa smokehouse beef sticks but it's all right. Anyway, I was watching Morgan. And he's way up in northern Vermont. But I liked what he said. His plan was not to prevent the water from freezing. It was how to manage water. Because water is going to freeze. Yeah, it's broke. Dog on it. Let's go get a bucket of water. I was literally out here two hours ago. Everybody's screaming like they're hungry, haven't eaten in weeks. I like what he said was, he was more focused on water management versus keeping the water from freezing because you can't keep it from freezing without running heaters. And it's just not possible in our situation without running, you know, four or five extension cords. It's just not gonna happen. My mom right now saying, son, you just bought new gloves. Put your glove back on. The only ones we really got to watch out for to have fresh water is the ducks. Like everybody else, you can bust their water up. Like Smokies, it just freezes over the top and I getting ready to use a mud shovel. I appreciate it to bust it up. But the ducks get their water dirty every day, every day, actually about every two or three hours. So we got to have fresh water for them. We can't just kick it loose every time. You know, I don't mind doing that. Like if I fill this up right now, I'll come back out here at three o'clock. I don't mind busting that water up because it's, I know it's fresh from noon. But fresh from the day before, or water from the day before, 
No, that's not, that's not fresh. So let me get over there. You don't want any water? That means you've got water. Good. Good. How much water? Hmm? Is that good? Let's go see your duck buddies. There we go. As far as little Mrs. Water goes. Yeah, it's not even froze. So, I know what you want. There was no egg this morning, was there? She hadn't laid it yet. Somebody's been busy. I think it's that one. One of the sassies. I know, I know. I'm sorry. It's like teasing her. I ran to uh, three different stores and couldn't find what I was looking for, but I have an idea for water. And because five gallon buckets, that works, but man, that's, it's slow and it spills out. I want to go buy lids and it still spills out. I haven't, met, I haven't found a five gallon bucket that you can reseal consistently every single time without it spilling. But I have an idea. Don't worry about it. Definitely have an idea. Smokey has no idea I'm leaving. Come here. Come on. Okay. I gotta go. You were snoozing when I drove in. Like snooze city. Yep. Singing the Z's. Singing the Z's. So you go back to sleep, okay? I'll see you a little bit later. Sound good? Sound good? Sorry. Pop you with my hat. <laughs> All right, see you later. So, I gotta figure something out for the water situation. And we will, don't worry. We will. All right, it's uh, what time is it? I don't know, somebody just sent me a text. It's noon o'clock, but you guys keep watching those ads, click that like button, the notification bell, all that good stuff, I sincerely appreciate it. I read every single comment, I really do. Okay. Even if I just give it a thumbs and a heart, I read it. I don't always have time to respond because I'm editing videos so that you guys have more to watch. If I see something that needs a response, I'll address it. If I see something that needs a sarcastic and snarky remark, I'll address that too. <laughs> That's my favorite thing. But I, I love the comments. Grandma and grandpa read them too. If you guys comment and you see a thumbs up and a heart and all that, and then you see like multiple thumbs up, that's grandma and grandpa. They, see, so they sincerely appreciate that. And case two. So anyway, the next thing we're doing, probably gonna add another section of that horse fence and make the pin even bigger. And then we're gonna get this blue dog house over there and it's gonna be the duck house, AKA the quack house. Hmm. That's from case, you're welcome. Taking this view every chance I get. I'm just going to keep pumping out videos, guys. I'll try and put something with the boys in the end of every video. Uh, but, you know, most of you guys are parents and grandparents. You know, with an 18-month-old and an 11-year-old, sometimes you get home from dinner or you get done with dinner and the 18-month-old is not ready to entertain and play and uh, be in front of a camera. But, man, my boys are my best buddies. 
my absolute best buddies. And uh, I wouldn't be doing any of this without them. They're just my best friends, my tallest and my shortest best friends. Y'all be good, be safe, wash your hands, don't work too hard. God bless. Deuces.